at least the first one in like two, it's got to be past three, two years for me. Hello. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just going in the mark. Listen, I'm fine about that. I'm trying to get around mine. Let's make it six, just so. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Good right. luck, everyone. Okay. All right. Yeah. So happy hunting. Happy hunting. Go, go, go. See ya. It's a bit of everything here, guys. Comics, DVDs, look. Eight ninety nine. Oh bloody hell, CGC's here now. We always have a little scout round in the morning. Look at this. I don't think they move here. All right. Yeah, not too bad. Oh, have you? Oh, appreciate it. Much appreciated. You never see much gaming or stuff here. So like the first time I've been in about two years. Okay. Since COVID, but I thought I'd come back. He's always coming by comics. Okay. It's good to see gaming stuff. So I'm like, oh, that's cool. Get my little fix. Yeah. Get my little fix. Just looking around. Yeah, it'd be busy today. It's packed out there. Is it? Absolutely really packed. Good. Yeah. So oh. you should do well. Yeah, it's only this, you've only got this kind of stuff, haven't you? In there, I would have thought. Yeah. Graded cards. No, all the best, all the best for today. Thank you very much. And I'll pop round. But thank no, thank you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just gonna quickly just look at these ones. Yeah, it weren't too bad. I went this morning. I actually picked up a graded like Pikachu sticker. And I was like, oh, really? yeah, 20 quid. I was like, oh, I'll have that. I've never seen graded stuff at a boot sale. Hey, you're right, yeah? Yeah, good man. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, no, I thought I'd come quickly, do a boot sale, flip up here, got an hour. I've got to sell stuff. I yeah. I can't get stuff. I, I bought a few, <laughs> I went two weeks to boot there. Yeah. Stuff. It's always the way though, isn't it? I've got to sell it. So.
I always get caught out with these pops. I, I try not to get too many of them. There's so many in there. I, I, that's why I've got a lot of these. I only yeah. keep that on the die cost ones. That's yeah. it. They look nice as well. They just and capture like, you, don't they? Even like the DC and Marvel ones, all the other ones I kept. Like, any of that, I've got Stranger Things or yeah. um, the Jimi Hendrix. I, I have to put a limit somewhere. Yeah, that's it. It's too much otherwise. All right, I'll let you crack on. I'll pop back. Skin pee box set. It's too bad. I can't be pulling out the phone and start scanning box sets at a comic mart. It's just wrong. There's another room. You just literally do it in two minutes. Let's go there and Thank 
I don't know, I just like Charizard. Do 20 quid. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh, thank you, much appreciated. Now I've got two tra now I've got two uh, graded cards. And it's CGC as well, isn't it? I like I've got a comic CGC, so it makes a thing. No, thank you, much appreciated. Thanks thank for that. You. And yeah, no. Hope it goes well safely, yeah? Come here next time, I'll have more. Yeah, 100%. Are you going to do the comic one next I'm time? I'm going to do the one next time and I'll bring more, but there'll be, uh, be a lot more money. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll bring some more, All right. more cash, yeah, definitely. Wicked. All right, then. Take Good. care. Have All the best.
Is it alright? Right? Can I just look at those two quickly? That's alright. Stand here. There we are. Oh, cheers. Thank you. Have a look. Yeah, I've never had one of these, like, and I'm wondering what's the best one. That one looks like a better cover, isn't it? Do like that cover. Well, of course, I know it's you know, got, that. You've got that. Yeah. yeah so. You know, obviously that one's going to present a bit better. Yeah. And sometimes you like a bit of like, wear, so it clearly so it really shows its age. I like that. I like a little bit of wear on a comic. Yeah. And where are you based in Dartford? Uh, I am. Yeah. But oh, okay. I was going to say I've never seen anything in Dartford. I've got a comic book shop there. Yeah. I've been what is open it? for nine years. I'm in Alpington. Bloody oh, hell. Right. Okay. I would have thought I would have. Well, uh... I used to be in the in the clock tower. So, oh yeah, and yeah. Also, okay. I couldn't fit many people in the shops. So I didn't advertise yeah. so much. But now I've moved to a slightly bigger shop opposite the train station. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Um, oh, okay. I've yeah, got that um, But um, all this stuff is all Chris's. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't really, like, say or... I've that much space to bring stuff of my own, but, yeah. What's the best you can do for that one? Uh, it would be for me, yeah, me and Chris. Although we have just opened, so, okay. you know, you never know the person who uh, wants it for that price. It might be yeah. just, just waiting no, to get in. So I think uh, later on in the day is a better time for offers, but you never, you never know, you might still uh, take something on it. Who's Chris, the guy then? Shall I ask uh, it? Or... In the, uh, or if yeah, not, I'll pop back in, if in not. In the olive windbreaker there, yeah. I'll All pop right. back, yeah, yeah. No, much appreciated. No problem, Thank you. cheers. All right. Holy fuck. It may probably be gone by the time I go back. But... Are they gone now, are they? Or? No, no, no. This is, this is, this is the, oh, okay. the same exact question as you. Okay, so. alright then. I'll, yeah. I'll wait then. Oh, he mostly, he get him. Alright then. Yeah, yeah. Okay, alright then. Well done. Amazing collection. I'm definitely like staying. Yeah, let me get your watch. So. No, no, let him go. Let him. Yeah, let him. Yeah, sure. Yeah, no, 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 let him deal with it. I don't want to. He's with me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. But, um, but I'll look through anyway. Anymore, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. He's just finding it for it. Yeah. So yeah, is this is this more of the same? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, around these boxes. All right then. Thank you. Cheers. Sorry, mate. Yeah, yeah, because that's 300. <laughs> <laughs> it's now 900. <laughs> Where are we? 
No, no, go on, go on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, cheers, thank you. Oh, I got there. I got a bargain there. I'll have that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you always get a nice selection of illustrators in the old oh, Apple Oh, fantastic! Yeah. 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 I got all the reprints of the Mystics and Spellbound. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, apparently, at the time, apparently, enough Stanley got a, a lot of bad publicity in some ways, ah. but, but according to what I read, 
Indeed. Yeah. 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 Artists, in that period, would find it very hard to find work. Oh. And he would often, why you'll find, say, a comic like this, you've got four different artists. Yeah. yeah. It's because he tries to give as much work as he can to as many different people. Because, you know, they're so, so, so struggling a bit. And, uh, and, uh, and, and apparently he was, he was very good with it. He tried, he, he tried to um, dish out as much, but it reached a point whereby the owner, Goodman, said, right, no more. Because he has such a backlog of, oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> of, of, um, of inventory that he said, you've got to start publishing some of this stuff. You can't just... So they did, though. They kept publishing and publishing. All got published in the end. Yeah. Wallerstein the monster. Yeah. One, one of them, one of them was published, translated into English, yeah. but only one. And um, I, I've never been able to, not, not that you need it translated into English anyway, because the artwork is so explicit that you know exactly what's going on. But I've got enough here, if I can find some stuff. Yeah! Where's he gone? Oh, there he is! Hiding from me! Great stuff! Okay, thank you! Cheers! Oh, I love them personally. Yeah, they are brilliant. Some of them, some of them, is, the weird tails in particular get very pricey. Yeah, yeah that's, the, that's the problem. Trading cards, look at all these Macy's 50. You gotta love your trading cards, nothing decent there. Oh wow. Class these all backwards. That man Robin.
Bateu o leão. Yeah, not too bad. How? I guess they're all different prices, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. they are. There's a, there's a few that have the prices on them. Okay. Um, but just let me know if there's any at all that you're interested in. How much is uh, Gizmo? Gizmo is 32. And how much is the... That one is 26. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, we could do this guy for 23. Okay. Ah, oh, thanks. Hi, guys.
same time already. Like I did last Thanks a lot, thank you. Thanks. I'm sorry. 
I can't do much on that. I'll take £10 off the top of it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that's, about, that's about it. I've paid a lot of money for this. No, I haven't. I'm not going to do it. Oh, it's the first question. Oh, it's the first question. Here is great. No. Not this time. Uh, Maybe next time, but I, I had them last time. I, I bury it. I don't remember it now. Sorry? Do you have a website or something? No. No, I only sell here. I'm, I'm really selling my own private collection. I've had them for years. Oh, yeah. It's very big collection. But yes. I, it was as creepy as there is with Vampirellas. I've got 19 plus percent of the numbers. So if you have a, 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 a one piece, I'll be happy to go bring it on me if I don't bring it on me. Sorry? I'm, I'm a chief, I'm a volcanologist. I'm a chemist. I'm a chemist. It's a hobby. It's a hobby. I'm a collector. I love all this stuff. I have done since I was, you know, I'm 71 now. I'm sure I'm not even more than that. Entirely up to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the underground comics in the 70s. Oh, really? I've almost got a full run of TV to you. I was very fortunate to be around when the first American comics started distributing again in early 1960. Oh, it's popped out of my head. All these beautiful colour comics. I'm afraid I was signed with Alex Ambrose Aberdeen. The stuff I was buying into 70s, 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 Tell me, what do you do for a living? I'm going to play a game with you here. Okay, that's nice. I'm a retired teacher. In other words, you're not investment bankers. Good, you can have it. In other words, I'm looking for down to earth. <laughs> Because it's, a, it's a, I'm telling you, the last time I had one of these, I sold it for 40 pounds. It's just gone balmy, and I've seen a couple of yeah, gone crazy money. It's like everything else, you know. Hello. Would you like a bag? I'll get you. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. No, it's nice you. to meet you both. No, I appreciate it. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all the best. Put it away. Look after it. Yeah, all right. Take care. Okay, all the best. Uh, what can you do on those ones? Yeah, that's gone up crazy. Much, yeah, I know. It? And it's always one that I need. I want anyway, it in cents, but I'm not going to get it in um, cents. Give me 50 then. Oh, thank you. Up. Much appreciated. A bit, uh, Saying to these people, you know, um, you're caught yeah. having to put prices up. Because yeah, catching the, up with the TV shows, stuff like that. Because yeah. I've got werewolf one up, but it's just. That's yeah. lovely. Do you need a boat? No, no, I'll bring it in a backpack. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Take care.
Welcome back to Scotch Retro Collectibles. So I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. That was a brief look at what London... Uh, well, I was going to say London Comic Con, but it is. It's, it's London Comic Mark at the Bedford Hotel, just off of Russell Square. I think there's usually now about six a year. Uh, they are brilliant. now, And you're always, it's always a bit of a mix of what you get. Now, you're definitely always going to get the comic sellers. Comic sellers are there all the time, and it's usually a lot of the regulars that are there. You're always going to get trading cards, a couple of trading cards. Now, Funko Pops have taken off massively at this kind of event. And you'll you'll get loads of stalls that would go there throughout the year. They sell them at good prices as well. Hell of a lot of people. Pokemon cards are quite big now. So there's a lot of Pokemon card sellers there. Uh, in the past, I've seen movie poster sellers. So I like going to them because you just never know what you're going to get. Some brilliant people there. And I've got some all right bits. I'd definitely be going to the next couple. Because it looks like some of the sellers that do computer games... Uh, Pokemon cards, etc., will be coming with more stock in the coming months. So something to watch out for. But one of my first pickups, I did pick up another graded card. Uh, I think I paid 25, but I think the guy let me off a fiver, which was great. Uh, knew the channel as well, so I, you know, I'm always, I'm always humbled, and I, you know, it gives me a, a great sense of pride uh, that people enjoy my channel as well, enjoy what I'm putting out there. They watch, a few has recognised me or recognised me from the channel. I was going to say recognise me, recognise me from the channel. It's the same thing. But they recognise me, have a chat and we're into similar things. Uh, but he had an awesome stall there. Awesome stall of Pokemon cards, gaming. And you just don't see that stuff. I've never seen it before at the London Comic Mark. Uh, but definitely, I told him to keep coming along because you will get more people that come to these. It was a little bit, I didn't think there was a lot of people buying at this one compared to what I've seen in the past. But the queue was huge when it first started. But a lot of those people come in for Funko Pops, literally, bye, 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 gone. Uh, literally in and out. But yes, I managed to pick up Charizard. Now, there's two. I love Charizard. I don't know much about the card, to be fair. Charizard, what is it? Charizard 10, Pokemon 2020, Black Star Promos, Champion Path Elite Training Box. Uh, now, the reason I chose this one, there's loads of decent cards there. I, I don't really know with the new cards what I'm looking at. But because I'm picking up these graded bits now, and I've got... Guys, I'm going to show you quickly, actually, while we're here. Why not? So I'm transferring all my old... So old Pokemon cards. I have uh, three base sets. Three base sets. And when they come out, I first started working. Uh, and you have uh, income, don't you? Income come in, you buy what you want. And I got hooked on the Pokemon cards. So what I've started to do now... Let me put these down for a minute and show you guys. Because I think I've moved all my cards. So I've started to move all my cards... All my Pokemon sets, and I've just ordered another 100 of these online. I've started to move them all into uh, the little sleeves and the little hard protective plastic bits. But you can see here, I'll show a few of them. Uh, but yeah, you've got like your Blastoise, uh, your Charizard. Hopefully that's all right and you're not getting any of the, I'd say like the Circle of Death. Venusaur. I absolutely loved these growing up. Uh, and me and my brother collected these. Hence why we've got a few sets. Some of the cards mostly need replacing like this. But looking in the folder, I've got another three of these. So what I'll do is the ones that look a little naff, I'll just replace out. Uh, I loved all these. Look, Mewtwo. These are the ones I grew up with. Oh, Mew. So I'm just putting them all into order and putting them back in. I think there's some more Charizards as well. Oh, there's another Blastoise there. Because... I put them all. I started to put them all in order. Come on. But I, I, you know, me and my brother, we loved Pokemon growing up. Absolutely loved Pokemon growing up. I'm on the mission to find this other Charizard now because I've said it. The Blastoise I've just showed. I bet it's still in the folder. Actually, I bet it's still on the folder because I'm this. Is, I'm only on to Venusaur, another one. Yeah, so the Charizard's still in the folder. But we've got so many base sets. Uh, so I've got two here. I think I know I said three. I think I've got another two in the loft as well uh, So yeah, I'm just putting them all into there keep them set for it But you gotta love them. They look so they look so much better in these little plastic protector Pieces uh, keeps them fresh as well instead of in the folder and they start to get I'm not saying a little bit bent But I've had them in the original Pokemon folders Since we've had them since kids uh, look, And it's a little bit battered now But the amount of these I've got Jeez, there's a lot. Uh, so yeah, so started moving those. But as I'm doing this, it's definitely got me more into the newer Pokemon bits and pieces. Hence, I picked up from the boot sale. Last boot sale, I picked up the Pikachu sticker. 
And when I was growing up, you can never grade cards. Comics you could grade. I think that was about it. Toys over the last couple of years. Computer games have gotten really big for grading. Cards have just come in an element of its own. Now, when I talk graded cards, people go, yeah, you've been grading for years. It was a massive thing in America. It's a PSA. Not really a lot in the UK. Now, I have to admit, every time I'm looking at graded cards, there's mostly another 9, 10, 11 new grading card companies in the UK that pop up. Uh, but back to this. The reason I picked this one up was CGC. It's mostly one... For me, it's the most reliable company that I know because I've dealt with so much with comics. I always say it's like you kind of... People go, oh, that's not a good card. But it's like, for me, it's the Porsche Lamborghini, you know, the Aston Martin of the grading world. is CGC, my opinion. All these other ones... You know, more like your folds. And there's nothing wrong with having a fold, is there? I've got a fold myself. Uh, but CGC, I, I trust CGC. I trust their grading. Uh, hence why I always buy them. Not so much in card. I mostly deal in other companies for cards. But comics, I always stick with CGC. Uh, but yes, hence why when I saw the CGC little card, I thought, how... I was going to say how cute. That sounds quite bad. But it does look really cute. It looks really good. Because uh, I just know CGC as comics. So C1 as a card. It just made me giggle as well. So I had to pick that up. So I picked that up for 25. And no doubt, something I'm going to get bigger into. Uh, yes, let's go on. Let's go on. Comic-wise, I can't believe how much the price of comics has massively increased over, I want to say at least over the last 10 years. And it is given everything to do with the Marvel Universe, DC Universe, coming onto TV, movies, uh, first appearances. People are looking at stuff for investments uh, and buying and selling really quickly on comics. But it was crazy. So now, you know, I tend to stay away from first appearances. I've been collecting comics since, I want to say, eight, eight, nine, or 10. Uh, always, always brought them since a kid. Always put them away. Always bag and boarded them. There's so much different stuff now for comics as well. In terms of the way you board comics, you can put my lights. Different, different ways of just keeping these things stored and looking fresh. But for me now, I'm trying to complete some series. I've spoke about them in the past. Uh, mostly my horror. So I was doing Werewolf by Night. Now, if you know the Werewolf by Night line, you know that Moon Knight is in that comic. First appearance, second appearance, and third appearance. Now, that being said, and because he's in there, the prices have gone stupid. Thankfully, I have his first appearance. I, as a young boy, I used to just collect first appearances. Moon Knight, I've mostly got... I'm not, I'm not going to say I've got low. I've mostly got about four. I've got three in cents and one in pence that I brought a few years ago. Uh, because it was dead cheap at the time. It was like 40 quid. So I picked it up because I knew that was a bargain. Now, you just can't touch the, you can't touch the werewolf by night now. It's beginning, getting harder and harder to get. And I like to collect my comic series in cents. Uh, just because I just think that's where the value is. I like reading it and that's just my preference. Uh, and if I ever go on to pass these comics on or sell them, I think that I'd get more bang for my buck if I had them in cents. Uh, that is just my preference on that. So I'm still collecting Werewolf by Night, but I've had to go into cents, go into pence for some of the copies just because of the Werewolf by Night. So this is the third Werewolf, uh, third Moon Knight, sorry, Moon Knight, because of the Disney Plus. It's massively pushed up. I had to pay 40, 40 pounds uh, for this cents. It says fine copy on the back. Uh, I don't mind paying it because I need it. Now, the only gutting piece is that I have all my Werewolf by Nights in sense. All my horror ones, I tend to do everything in sense. Uh, so, Living Mummy, Frankenstein, uh, Godzilla, Shogun Warriors, and now Werewolf by Night. Now, it's bugged me that I've got this, but I will put it in there as a filler for now. And no doubt, try and go again for this in the future or once the series dies down a little bit. Uh, so, I keep that. Now, one I am collecting in sense, and I don't need a lot more, is the Tomb of Draclia. Now, the reason I'm trying to get my arse into gear and really get this going is you've got the new Blade movie coming out. And there's loads of rumours going around that it's going to be based on Tomb of Dracula. It's got, Dracula is going to be in the movie, a proper Dracula. It's going to go back to the comics. And I'm like, crap, if it does that, I'm not going to be able to finish my run. Uh, so I did buy it. number five and number 29. They're on my list of what I need. And they weren't too bad. I believe, and you guys would have seen this, I believe I paid nine and four pound or four and nine. Uh, so I picked those up, both very good. Uh, so I was happy with those. Now the next one, I think it was only like four quid. I picked it up, I don't, I don't collect much of the English bits and pieces, but if I see a first edition and the cover looks good, the cover art, I'll pick it up. So I picked up Titans issue one. I believe it is four pound, happy with that. 
Uh, so I picked that up. And then I picked up, I think this was a cheeky £3. And just because of the toy, the toy lover in me, I picked up Mask. Uh, so a later issue at number 49. 39p back in the day, 1988. Now, I mostly missed out on a few bits, guys. Truth be told. I've just hummed and hard over some uh, horror magazines. So Fault of Horror, EC Comics. And I should not have. They're £45 each. I was being a little bit tight. I should have just pulled the trigger and brought them. Now, that being said, I went for a walk, come back round. I thought, you know what? I need to just buy these. I need to pull the trigger. I went back round. Someone else had already said they were going to buy them. So I was absolutely gutted and lost out on those. Uh, but that's just the price you have to pay. Sometimes things work in your way. Sometimes they don't. Uh, but that being said, I had a brilliant time at the comic mark. I will definitely go again. I'll mostly bring more funds next time because I didn't realise the price of comics had jumped up so much. Uh, but the Pokemon cards as well, some graded Pokemon cards I'd mostly pick up next time. Uh, and definitely some more comics. I want to still try and finish this Tomb of Dracula. So I'll continue to do that and pick up some graded cards. So definitely watch out for my next video. But that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Stay safe. See you again next time. Boom.